Hi, Nolito here, aka Human Engineer. Before getting to the video, I'd like to explain how I'll do things from now on. Let's put it bluntly, ChatGPT cannot be trusted with designs or even calculations required for Factorio. It has outdated data on some recipe, most of the time uses the wrong formula to calculate the number of assembling needed, ending up with some funny answers. I've tried to rephrase my questions, give it updated informations for hours, but it simply doesn't work. It also can't design setups as soon as it requires more than two machines it seems. So, I will try to rely on chat GPT as much as possible, at least for calculations. If it gives me wrong answers, I'll still use the values it gives me. Concerning designs, I'll try to ask a few times to the AI to generate something usable. If it is, I'll use it, if I need to change a thing or two, I'll make it work, but if it is straight up unusable, I'll make the designs myself. I wish it could generate suitable designs, even if they are goofy or a bit off, but I think it's too difficult for now. Also, I'll try to show the exchanges I have with ChatGPT using screenshots, whenever it is relevant. I won't be displaying them for too long on screen, so it doesn't make the videos unnecessary long, but if you want to check in details, feel free to pause and read. Oh yeah, thanks for the support you guys have shown on the previous videos. Didn't expect that. Now that this is out of the way, I'll give back the mic to your favorite AI. Nolito out. Hello and welcome back to our Factorio playthrough. I am Engineer AI, and in the last video, we focused on optimizing our factory to produce green and red science packs efficiently. We also secured our base from the constant attacks of the alien biters. Today, our goal is to produce blue science packs, which will require us to research advanced electronics and set up a new production line. We will need to craft advanced circuits, engines, and sulfur to make blue science packs. In addition, we will need to expand our iron production to keep up with the increased demand. So without further ado, let's dive into the world of Factorio and work towards our next goal of producing blue science packs. We'll be running several researches, including engines, automation 2, fluid handling, oil processing, plastics, sulfur, and advanced electronics. These researches will allow us to unlock new technologies and improve our production processes even further. Crafting steel is a crucial part of our factory production. Steel is made from iron plates in furnaces with the addition of coal. The resulting steel plates are then used in the creation of a number of important items, including engine units. Engine units are necessary for the creation of advanced technologies like trains and oil processing. Without steel and engine units, our factory would be unable to progress further in the game. That's why it's important to make sure we have a steady supply of both. We are currently researching advanced electronics, which will enable us to create more advanced machines and processes that require steel and engine units. As we progress in our research, we find ourselves in need of more complex and sophisticated materials to create the technologies we desire. Blue science packs are a prime example of this. To produce blue science packs, we need a total of three advanced circuits, two engine units, and one sulfur. And to meet this need, we have set up a production line that includes four assembling machines, fed by four machines making advanced circuits, two chemical plants making sulfur, and two assembling machines making engine units. Each component is crafted separately and then assembled into the blue science packs. We have finished setting up our production of engine units, so now we need to shift our focus to advanced circuits. To make blue science packs, we need three advanced circuits per pack, so we will need a significant amount of them. To produce advanced circuits, we need to combine copper cables, electronic circuits, and plastic bars. We have already set up the production of electronic circuits, and we will need to transport them to a new location where we will combine them with copper cables and plastic bars. To ensure we have enough advanced circuits, we will need to use four assembling machines with a crafting speed of 0.5 to produce them. This will allow us to produce advanced circuits at the same rate as our other science packs. Here are examples of calculation errors that happened during the making of this advanced circuits setup.
Now let me read my notes with the correct numbers. Here are the crafting times for each ingredient at a crafting speed of 1. Electronic circuit, half a seconds. Plastic bar, 1 second. Copper cable, half a seconds. To calculate the number of machines needed for each ingredient, we can use the following formula. Number of machines equals crafting speed of assembling machine, crafting time of ingredient, number of items needed. Crafting time of advanced circuits items produced per craft using the above formula. We can calculate the following. 0.5 times 2 times 4. So we need 1 machine. So we need 0 0.25 times 4 times 4. 0 0.5 times 4 times 4. Divided by 8 times 2 equals 1 machine. Equals 0 0.25. So we need 1 machine. 4 divided by machines making advanced circuits. As human engineer has almost completed the setup for advanced circuits, the next step in our plan is to set up the refineries in order to process crude oil into petroleum gas and create plastic. This will require human engineer to travel to the oil patches and set up the necessary infrastructure for oil processing and plastic production. I have noticed that our current production of iron plates is not sufficient to meet our demands. Upgrading to steel furnaces could be a solution, but I have decided to opt for adding more smelting areas instead. This is because steel furnaces require a lot more resources and time to make, and we need to prioritize our resources towards building other important infrastructure, such as our plastic production line. By adding more smelting areas, we can increase our iron plate production quickly and efficiently. We need to set up pump jacks on the oil patches and get the crude oil to our refineries. Once we have the crude oil flowing, we can use the refineries to convert the crude oil into petroleum gas, which we need for the production of plastic. So, in our previous video, we talked about setting up the oil pumps on the oil patches and bringing the oil to the refineries. And in this video, we'll show you how we set up a total of 13 refineries to make the most out of the oil resources available to us. The refineries are crucial in converting crude oil into usable materials like petroleum gas, which we need for plastics and sulfur. With 13 refineries, we can process a significant amount of crude oil and get the necessary materials for our factory. We had to carefully plan the placement of the refineries to optimize the oil processing. We made sure that the refineries were not too far away from the oil patches, so the transport time of crude oil to the refineries was minimal. Overall, the 13 refineries we set up will play a critical role in our factory's operations, and we're excited to show you how they work. The refineries are far away from the coal patch, so we need a way to get coal next to them to make plastic. Ah, uh, yes. That glorious black snake winding its way through the factory, delivering the precious lifeblood that powers our machines. That, my dear viewers, is the coal conda, the mighty serpent of fuel that keeps our factory humming day and night. As the researches are taking some time, we already prepare the machines required for the blue science packs. We have four assembling machines that will be used to craft the blue science packs, which will be fed by four machines that will make the advanced circuits. In addition, we have two chemical plants making sulfur, and two assemblers making engine units. All these machines will work together to create the blue science packs that we need to progress further in the game. Good news everyone, our research on sulfur is complete, so we can now set up the chemical plants to produce sulfur for our blue science pack production. Human engineer is finishing up the advanced circuit setup. 
We are making great progress towards our goal of launching a rocket, so let's keep up the momentum. And that concludes our third video. We made great progress in this one, with the completion of our engine unit setup and the start of our advanced circuits and blue science pack productions. We also managed to set up our oil processing, enabling us to make plastic and sulfur. In the next video, our goal will be to set up trains and secure the ore patches around the base to ensure we have a steady supply of resources. It's going to be a big task, but we're up for the challenge. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.